Welcome to ACO. We'll have a look at the feature where you can put together a custom graph. Let's start with one which I already have in my research folders. When I click on that word, you can see them here. And I have one of Michael Jackson's Dangerous in multiple territories. I click on it and they load showing Dangerous in the US, Britain, Spain and Germany. The graph shows them here. The pink line is the US. This orange line throughout the period from 1992 is in the UK where you can see it charted again after he passed away in 2009. Now we would like to see what did Prince do when Dangerous was released. So in the search box I type Prince. I'm presented with the search results for the artists, albums and singles. I select Prince and search. My previous custom graph of Dangerous is there on the right hand side and I see that the hits number one charted in 93, the same period as Dangerous. So I click the plus button to add it to the graphs and there it is. I can now view it on a new graph with this button which brings me to the four versions of Michael Jackson's Dangerous and the hits by Prince. Let's see how they look on a graph. Here you can see the blue line is the hits of Prince. If you enlarge that you see how closely Prince followed Michael Jackson's Dangerous in the US. So when his record company released the hits, it's uncanny how similar the shape of the graph is to the Michael Jackson one. This is something which I'd like to store and research again. So I can save the folder as a new name and call it Dangerous. and Prince. I click Save <coughs> and there it is in my research folders for the future. And I can go back to it at any time. These are some of the tools for research that can be done with ACO.